Hey, Tourpreneurs, it's Mitch Bach. And just a quick note before we begin today's episode, Tourpreneur is currently sponsored by Google. We're thankful for their support of our community, and we are offering with them a completely free course helping you unlock the power and potential of Google's Things to Do program, which is specifically helping tour operators add their tours to Google in new ways that gives you new exposure and more direct bookings. To learn more, go to tourpreneur.com slash Google. And as always, show notes, more resources, links to our newsletter, our business coaching community, and so much more are available on tourpreneur.com. Now to the episode. For Billy, we looked up his numbers from this year with the, with the chat bot and had almost 5,000 questions come in. There's 131 bookings for almost $60,000 attributed to the chat bot. Welcome to the Tourpreneur Podcast. Travel industry veteran Shane Whaley will take you on a journey with fellow tourpreneurs, sharing their tips, ideas, insights, and success stories to inspire you to make your tour business the best it can be. And now, here is your host, Shane Whaley. Hello and welcome to episode 166 of Tourpreneur. This is the podcast where we flatten the learning curve for tour operators and travel professionals around the world. At the top of the show, you will have heard the words of Evan Tipton, and Evan was sharing with us some very impressive results that one of our tourpreneurs experienced whilst using AI chatbots. Now, personally, I know nothing about AI chatbots other than sometimes when I do online banking and I need some help or with my phone company, I have to go through it. But they're getting better. I've noticed that that technology is getting better. And I was blown away with this portion of a conversation that we had um, a little while ago on our Meet the Marketing Agency roundtable. And I wanted to kind of extract that nugget from that interview and produce this for you today. It's a 10-minute conversation with Evan and two tourpreneurs about the benefits of using AI chatbots and that interestingly enough they they said the the entrepreneurs said this wasn't just about uh, generating bookings they talk about how it's helping to grow their tour business in, in terms of being more efficient and my worry is because this was part of an hour plus long conversation on meet the marketing agency you may have missed it because if you're anything like me and I'm a podcast junkie I've got my favorites in my app and I'll look at it and go okay how interested am I in that interview or that topic today and maybe if I'm not, I'll move on. It doesn't hurt my feelings, entrepreneurs, um, because I know you'll come back and you look at the archive when you are looking for that information. And my worry is that maybe you didn't listen to the Meet the Marketing Agency with Evan and you will have missed this 10 minutes of gold, okay, on how AI chatbots have really helped Billy's business. And I don't want you to miss out on this stuff, particularly because, yes, Evan offers it, but he's not a pitch man here, right? The whole purpose of that round table is we have the marketing agency, one of their customers, and another operator who's shopping around. So we don't do that pitching thing here on Torpreneur. This is a genuine conversation. And I really would love to, in the new year, dig into this topic a lot more because I think there's a ton more learning for us when it comes to AI chatbots. So I'm going to hand over to Sean Teasley, who hosted that conversation for us. This is about 10 minutes long. And uh, yeah, there's a ton of gold here. At time of recording, it's holiday time. Six inches of snow outside my window here. So I want to wish you all a happy holiday. If you're listening to this in the summer, have a pina colada for me. <laughs> because I know that we go back and forth with the archive right, when we're looking for something. And uh, thank you for tuning in to Tourpreneur this year. I hope we have a better 2022. And do let me know who you want to hear on the show, what topics do you want to learn more about, particularly from people who are not going to pitch you, right? Not from the gurus, the empty suit gurus, but from professionals in our industry that are you know, real experts in these topic areas, and Evan is certainly one. Um, and don't forget, there's over 3,000 fellow tourpreneurs who every single day are helping each other grow our tour businesses in our online community, and you can find that at tourpreneur.com forward slash Facebook. 
From what I'm hearing, clients come to Thomas for other marketing needs and then end up exploring AI chatbots, SMS chats, live chat. How does that all work together in the whole marketing strategy? One of the beautiful things about having an agency as well as a software platform is that, you know, over the last five years, we've been able to listen to our agency clients and build software to address those pain points. And certainly one of the most common ones is I have an FAQ page, information's on the website, but they still call me, they still email me with frequently asked questions. We have, we're now on like version three of our AI chat bot, which we say basically if you can train a human or a staff member to answer a question, we can train the chat bot to answer it in automated fashion. Now it doesn't necessarily you know, it's not, it wouldn't be the best option to handle, you know, a big corporate or private custom tour, but what it would allow is basically that person to get to maybe a contact form or a click to call or click to email button that much faster. And then because you've saved that much time, not having to answer, you know, those unnecessary FAQ questions, you can spend more time on sort of that customer experience for those big ticket, corporate, private, custom groups. The, the data behind the AI chatbot is incredibly compelling. Billy's a little bit different than you, Amada, in terms of just we're running, you know, a lot, pretty high volume, just, you know, half day rafting trips, right? So a little bit different than Broadway or, you know, food tours even, but the same logic still applies in terms of, all of the software we've built in terms of like the customer communication experience is meant to one, save you time, two, basically enhance the customer experience, and three, make you more money online. You know, for Billy, we looked up his numbers from this year with the, with the chat bot and he had almost 5,000 questions come in. There's 131 bookings for almost $60,000 attributed to the chat bot. And what's interesting, so the core competency is definitely, you know, automated customer service agent, but it's also a very effective sales enablement tool. So those that interacted with the chatbot on Billy's website this year, they booked online almost 300% higher rate than all website traffic average. So it's getting website visitors, potential customers, the information they're looking for when they're looking for it. And we live in a convenience economy, right? So if we can do that, then the result, and it's not always that high, but we are seeing basically 150% on average, at least higher conversion rate for those that interact with the bot. Those are huge numbers. Wow. Absolutely. And what's interesting, because Billy also runs private trips, actually does a good bit of his bookings offline, only 2.6% of those 5,000 conversations asked to talk to a human. And we actually expect it to be a little bit higher. So 1,200 plus people asked the bot check availability, which is the most common question that we get, any bot gets. For instance, 239 people asked Billy's chatbot about his hours of operation. 170 people asked about age requirements. So for those, you know, there's nothing necessarily personal about answering a question about hours of operations or cancellation policy. So if they can get that answered in real time on the site, maybe that is a blocker barrier to move forward. Um, so the bot can push them further down the funnel. Whether it's you or for others that aren't interested in the chat bot for whatever reason, we have two other options. So one is just traditional live chat. So you can have live chat, kind of like you have the Facebook Messenger chat on your site. We've got live chat. Probably the more popular than the live chat is the SMS chat. So for you, it works the same. We've got a desktop app, we have a mobile app. So if someone comes to your website, they can, and you have the SMS chat turned on, they fill out their name and their number and their message. And what's nice about SMS versus live chat is they can take the conversation with them. I think it's unreasonable to expect someone to just stick around your site for you know the next hour. And with SMS chat, they can take it with them on the go. Um, the conversation's persistent, so they don't respond for four days. You'll still have that same thread, and you can respond to them if you're in the grocery store on your phone. For Billy, it's when he's on the ski lift. 
likes to respond to them there. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner is having the bot plus SMS or live chat. So the bot's your first layer. And if there's a question the bot doesn't understand, it'll prompt them to say, hey, would you like to speak to a live agent? So you can go from bot to SMS chat. So that 3%, 2.6% of folks still may not actually need to call you or email you, but you can now have a live, you know, a one-on-one -on -one exchange with them. A lot of flexibility with the customer communication functionality that we have. And it's definitely evolving in terms of how people want to and expect to be able to interact and engage with, you know, businesses. Wow, that's fascinating. I have two follow-up questions for Billy then, based on what Evan's saying. When you do get the offline bookings coming in, how are you getting those or what does that look like? And then what else do you have to comment about how the bot's working for you? The bot is awesome. <laughs> for me, for example, it's not just about the bookings. It's about the added resources that you know it automates, right? So think about, I have about 45 people on payroll during the season. Now I have one, which is me. During the off season, I have this chat bot answering all these questions for me. It frees up my time and I don't have to hire that extra person to answer those questions. So I love the automated feature. That's one piece that I really like about it. The second piece is it tracks all those questions. Like, why are these people asking all these questions? What are these common questions? You, then you look at those reports, which you have to update your answers so the bot gets smarter and smarter, but you can also take that information and apply it to your website and provide that information. So they're not asking those questions. So it's like a tracking tool to really enhance your website based on direct customer feedback. That's what I love. But since this latest version, the check availability, the bot's smart enough where it integrates in the reservation system and it'll ask, it'll prompt the user what trip they want, what time they want, and then it'll tell them, yeah, we have four spots available or we don't have anything available until tomorrow. And then that, you know, it turned into almost 50 grand for us this year, which is, that's awesome. That is really cool. Yeah. So I just went to your website to look at that and I was playing with it. And I was like, how does it know how to find the availability? Like, <laughs> what? And you guys both <laughs> use Peak, is that right? Billy and Amada? I'm on Zola. Zola. Okay. But yes, I'm on peak. I've, I've been with them since they started. Wow. Isn't that interesting? Um, that really is a gold nugget. I'm excited to dig into this topic in the new year. If you are an expert on AI chatbots or you're a entrepreneur who's had experience with them, do drop me a line, uh, Shane, S-H-A-N-E, at tourpreneur.com. And I would love to invite you on to a show in the new year where we can dig into this topic a lot more. Uh, if you have any resources that you want to share, like I say, please come into our online community over at Facebook, tourpreneur.com forward slash Facebook and, and share that with others as well. Uh, I appreciate you listening today. I appreciate you listening um, all year round and uh, looking forward to bringing you lots more content in 2022. Thanks for listening to the Torpreneur podcast. Be sure to visit torpreneur.com to join the conversation and access the show notes, including links to the resources mentioned on today's episode. This is Torpreneur.